And we saw that the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment was coming up. And what a bunch of us thought right away was that we didn't actually know a lot about suffrage history. And so we did what reporters do, and we started calling the smart people. And we just asked them, what should we know? What don't we know? What do people never think about with suffrage? And and that's how the ride began. I remember it was like a stormy day and I scurried to the New York Times. I like got off at 42nd Street. I was so excited and nervous. And once I saw all the work that Veronica had done, I was just incredibly moved by it. I was amazed at the amount of research, knowledge and information and just passion behind it. I was like, this would be incredible as a play. Theater minds can take history and make it so incredibly present. Whitney had a vision for that almost immediately. I like it when theater is front-footed, when it's kind of pushing me forward, to sit forward, to lean forward, and that's what Ming's work does. I just remember texting Ming and be like, you're gonna love Veronica, because she's so dope. I was like, oh, I don't know if I have time to do this, I have all these projects, and then I read Veronica's book and I wept. And um, that, it, that, that was it. It just felt so present. It seemed so clear to me as to how this would resonate. There's a lot of people at the table that is our society and art allows us all to sit at a table together, digest something and think about it and process it. So I hope it's a testament to how vital theater and interpretive performative arts are.